Hi guys, it's Savannah. We're back for another episode of Meet the Owners. Today we are at Anani One Pizza yeah. with Juan. We're going to ask him a few questions, get to know about his restaurant. What inspired you to start Anonimo and what was your motivation? Well, Anonimo um, started as a co-work with Chris Jarosh, who passed away a few months. He's the owner of Broderick. Um, I met him. We immediately clicked. My background is pizza. I've been doing pizza for the last 15 years. And uh, he always said he had a dream of making a, a pizza restaurant. So we kind of joined forces. And the anonymous concept came from none of us wanted to be in front of the cameras. Mm -hmm. um, and none of us really caring about our names. We just wanted to provide a great product. So anonymous means anonymous. So, you know, we decided like, well, we don't want to be in front of the cameras. We don't want to put our names in there. We just want to make great pizza and have a successful restaurant and make people happy and make people enjoy the food. And the whole thing behind Anonymous is that we care about the product, we care about the craft. We don't care about who made it, who's the owner, who's the chef, what's the history behind it. We just care about delivering the best pizza to our customers. Do you think that's kind of funny because we're on camera right now? Yeah? <laughs> I know. I, now we are. I, I mean, it's, I, I guess, you know, it's about putting yourself out there at some at, eventually right because you have to but it's not about trying to make a name yes. it's more about letting everybody know that we're here and we want you to come and try this amazing pizza like, to being anonymous and like not being in front of the camera mostly like focusing on the product which i think is really important because i think you know some people get out there and they're like oh we just want, I just want to be me like always be me but i think you know, exactly sometimes you gotta show like that's the most important part like you don't go to a restaurant you're like oh i want to i want to know who the owner is you know but it's more like is the food good like yes like so uh, you know an example is people know us around this area mm -hmm. because they want to go eat to anonymo mm -hmm. they don't want to go eat to where chef ramazzini is chef juan is or Chris Jarosh was the owner or any of that. They all say like, Anonymous Pizza is the best. They don't say Juan's Pizza is the best. They don't say Chris's Pizza is the best. And that's what we've been focusing on and we hope to carry that along the way. Yeah, exactly. Um, so what do you think in your time having money in the restaurant, what has been the most difficult aspect? Well, I mean, running a restaurant is always challenging, right? You have your ups and downs, your season, not season, it rains, um, you know, people judges you for sometimes a bad pizza. I mean, you know, you depend on people, on customers, you depend on your cooks, everybody. The final product depends so much on so many hands. It's not that you just have a good product, but if the cook doesn't stretch the dough right, if they don't cook it right, if they don't take the time to do it the way it should be, all that affects you. So I will say the hardest part of running a restaurant is keeping the consistency. And second, uh, I will say, sadly, the insecurity we have in the city. Um, you know, like it's, it, it affects the restaurants a lot. Because if your area is not secure, it's not safe, then customers don't want to come back. They love your product, but they wouldn't come back to the restaurant because that area is a little sketchy here and there and we're in downtown Sacramento and uh, unfortunately it's not the safest place. What do you feel about like to-go orders? Do you think that helps or in terms of like your location yeah. like people don't want to come and dine in because they don't feel safe? So we're a small restaurant and uh, the majority of our sales are to take out delivery to-goes. Again people love the product they come they try it um, I wish they would come back as often as, you know, some do, or at least the locals do. Uh, but people do love the product and they do order online. We can see that, we definitely do. And we love that. So, you know, third party deliveries for us is a huge thing. So take it to a more positive note. What do you love or enjoy the most about having an automobile? 
Okay, I know. There's, <laughs> there's so many things. I mean, I, I love the concept that we created because um, if you come to the store, you can see all the art around the walls. Yes. We use some local artists, we use some international artists. So I love getting into that world as well. Because I talk to them, they show me their, 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 the stuff that they do, which is amazing. Uh, we rotate it, you know, so, and, and it gives them the opportunity also to sell. Like people have purchased a few paintings that we put on the wall. Um, so I love that the aspect of the art. It's not just art on food, but also actual art on the walls. Um, I love people's reaction when they take the first bite. You know, it's not that they're just hungry, but <laughs> it, it could be that. But I also feel like they love the product. And just seeing that reaction that they do, like some are surprised, like, oh, wow, I was not expecting this to be so good. Yeah. And some other ones that already know it's good and they crave it. And when they bite it, it's like, oh, I missed it. You know, um, I love that reaction. And then just also, I don't know, I guess somehow making the the community, blending in with the community and being out there. Uh, you know, we try to do events here. We try to blend in with several activities like in the park, uh, Cesar Chavez, like we've been there a couple of times and knowing all other restaurateurs, talking to people that is passionate about food. You know, I love all that. So several reasons that we got into this was to put all the things that we love together under one roof, if you put it like that. So you think overall, like, you're, you're happy that you decided to open this restaurant and yeah. where it's going? Yeah, I love it. I love it. We had, since day one, we have a super positive reaction from customers. Um, we literally opened the doors and this neighborhood was waiting for us to open. <laughs> um, so since day one, it's been a, it's just been great. So and very happy, and you know, hopefully we continue growing. And how long ago did you open? It's been almost two years. We opened February 9th in 2022. We already lasted two years. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're still here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So going from that, what kind of advice would you give to someone who's looking to open a restaurant or a small business? Okay, a couple of advices, uh, especially if it's in the restaurant industry. Um, do what you do best. Keep it simple, keep it good. Um, you know, some people, I think they try to do too much. And then you end up losing your essence and why you actually know how to do and everything deviates and then you don't do anything good. So if you do the best X, Focus on that and exploit that and then just be the best at that. And second, the US, this country provides a lot of opportunities. So don't be afraid. I mean, just we just gotta jump in and do it. So that's the toughest part. Actually decide to do it. It's it's scary. It's you know, it's a lot of you need money, it's a lot of money. A lot of challenges that are going to come through, especially because this state, it's, it's a tough state to, to do business in, but it's also a very powerful state that can make you very successful. So if you're passionate about something, just go after it and do it. Absolutely. Well, is there anything else that you'd like to add or anything else you'd want people to know about the restaurant, yourself? Well, um, I'm a... I mean, I don't know if you can tell by my accent, but <laughs> I'm not from here. I've been here in California for about 15 years, um, back and forth between the Bay and Sacramento. And I have 15 years in background in pizza. Uh, I love what I do. I love pizza. I fell in love with it. And, uh, you know, I just feel like if people come and eat over here, they will definitely taste that I love what I'm doing. And. Uh, we're located on 412th Street, downtown Sacramento. So just please don't be afraid and come check us out because it's delicious and we have a great wine selection. I'll say that, I love wine. 
They have a great wine selection that you're not going to find in any other restaurant. Thank you, Juan, for joining me for this little episode of Meet the Owners. Yeah. It's great to meet you. Great Pleasure. to check out your restaurant, finally. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. It's Anonymo Pizza in downtown Sacramento. Come give them a try.